going to go through the uh, solutions to this. So, question one: integration in tangents. We've got a curve that's got uh, the equation y equals f of x, and we're told that dy by dx is equal to 3x minus 5 over root x minus 2. Given that the point 4, 5 lies on C, remember C is the curve, find f of x. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this in a more useful form. So, dy by dx is equal to 3x minus 5 x to the minus a half minus 2. So I've basically changed the form of this from third form, if you like, to index form. Now, if y is equal to f of x, then y equals the integral of dy by dx. So I'm basically going to undifferentiate this to find out what f of x is, or y is. So it's the integral of 3x minus 5x to the minus a half minus 2 with respect to x. And now I'm actually going to integrate it. So that's going to be 3x, the power goes from 1 to 2, and I divide by the new power. And then it's minus 5x, the power goes up by 1, so it's going to be a half and I divide by the new power. And it's going to be minus 2, and the x goes from 0 to 1, divide by 1, and then I add my constant to the end. So that's the first part. Now I'm just going to tidy that up. So I've got 3x squared over 2, 5 divided by half is 10, so it's minus 10x to the half minus 2x plus c. Well, I don't know what the c is, so I'm going to use the point they give me. So use p, which is 4, 5, to find c. The constant, that is not the curve, so lowercase c. So y is 5, so 5 equals 3, and x is 4, obviously, 4 squared over 2 minus 10 times 4 to the half minus 2 times 4 plus c and that gives me 5 and that is um, 24 minus 20 that's minus 8 plus c and if you work it out, that gives you c is equal to 9. So we can finish off by a bit more space here. We are finish off by writing our equation of our curve. y is equal to 3x squared over 2 minus 10x to the half minus 2x plus 9. there we go. Now part B. We want an equation to the tangent of the tangent to C at point P and we've got to give our answer in a particular form. So first of all let's work out the gradient of the curve. So the gradient of the curve at P is the same as the gradient of the tangent at P, which is given by the gradient of the curve given at the start of the question. So we're going to substitute x equals 4, that's because point P has got an x coordinate 4, into the dy by dx, the gradient function. So that gives us. 3 times 4 minus 5 times 4 to the minus a half minus 2 
and that gives 12 minus 5 over 2 minus 2 which works out to be 10 minus 5 over 2 and 10 minus 5 over 2 is 7.5 so 10 is um, 20 over 2 isn't it so 20 over 2 minus 5 over 2 is 15 over 2 so that's our gradient <coughs> which means we can write y equals 15 over 2x plus c and now we're going to substitute our point p in again it's got quite a bit of a work out this question hasn't it which is 4 5 if I remember rightly um, let's just go back up and check that yes it is 4 5 okay so 5 which is the y coordinate is equal to 15 over 2 times 4 plus c and 15 over 2 times 4 is 60 over 2 so it's 30 so it's 5 equals 30 plus c therefore c is negative 25 so y is equal to 15 over 2 x minus 25 and that's our equation of line but it's not in the form they've asked for but they want it in that form and if they've asked for it that means it's a mark so I'm just going to do I'm going to multiply through by 2 so that gives me 2y is equal to 15 x minus 50 and now I'm just going to subtract it all across so 2y minus 15 x plus 50 equals 0 and that's in the form they've asked for. Now the trapezium rule, a bit of core 2. To complete the table below, this is um, trivial marks if you are capable of using a calculator. So we're just going to use this and we're going to substitute in 0 0.4 so y is equal to 3 to the power of 0 0.4 plus 2 times 0 0.4 and type that in on your calculator and write the numbers down. It really is as simple as that. Make sure you use the power button and you make it look exactly like this and you should get these numbers. Um, so I got 2.35 for that one, 3.13 for that one and 4.01 for that number. So that's two marks. Um, now we're going to use the trapezium rule. There's nothing magical about the trapezium rule. The question really is, can you be bothered to um, remember or learn the formula? This is the formula. It's h over 2 times y0 plus yn plus 2 times y1 plus y2 plus all the way up to yn minus 1. And the way I like to remember it is you've got the, that's the um, strip width. Then you've got the first and the last. You've got the middle values here. And you can see from the table what they are. So let's just go up. So the strip width, well this is going up in 0 0.2s, so A equals 0 0.2 over 2 the first and the last, well the first one is 1, so it's 1 plus the last one which is 5 plus 2 times all the ones in the middle, so 1.65 plus 2.35 plus 3.13 plus 4.01 there we are and if you type that into your calculator and hit the magic button, you should get 2.828. That's obviously rounded. And that's four marks for that. So a bit of hassle on the calculator, but um, good, easy marks. Now, the last one, question three. So we've got this uh, equation here. And as I've done every other time, I'm just going to quickly rewrite it in index form so x squared minus k and root x is x to the half and once you've done that then you can differentiate so dy by dx 
is equal to 2x and then it's going to be minus a half times k times x to the minus a half and there we are we've got two marks and now the tricky bit given that y is decreasing at x equals 4 so when x equals 4 when it's saying it's decreasing it's telling you about the gradient it's telling you that the gradient is going down which means the gradient must be negative it's less than 0 <coughs> pardon me <coughs> so we're just going to use the gradient which we've worked out just here so we've got 2 to the times 4 minus a half times k times 4 to the minus a half and that's that's the gradient there and that's got to be less than 0 so that turns into 8 and then that's a half there so it's minus a half times k times a half is less than 0 so 8 minus a quarter k is less than 0 it's a quarter because that's what a half times a half is add that across you would be very careful um, when you're dealing with inequalities that you don't uh, multiply or divide by a negative number uh, because that switches the sign. Multiply by 4 so I've got 32 and k is larger than 32 and that's my answer and I knew it was going to be an inequality because they told me the question it's a set of possible values and this is a set of values k is bigger than 32 and that's it I hope you got on right with that lot